Good morning, everyone. It's Rose Coleman coming to you live from my craft room here in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Got my coffee. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Another crazy freezing day, but we are nice and warm here. Cozy in my craft room and ready and excited to share this fun fold with you. Today is Friday. I love to go live on Fridays and share a fun fold with you. And today we're going to try um, the wiper card. Have you heard of the wiper card? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this one. I'm playing with Taco Fiesta again today. We're going to end off the week with a fun card. It has a wiper mechanism that moves when you open it. When the recipient opens the envelope and they pull the card, it'll. there's a piece that pops up. So it's always fun to do something like that, right? Um, hello, hello, how are you? <laughs> I am so excited, you guys, for the people that are joining my team. Oh my gosh, you guys have heard me talk about this since January 5th, of course, because the, the, that's when the special started. Now, this special on the starter kit ends on Tuesday. Please, please, please do not wait till Tuesday to do this. If you are thinking about getting the Boho Blue Mini or the White Mini or any of, of the other, there's three options for the starter kit. Do not wait till Tuesday because I have witnessed it in my experience that the system is very, very busy on Tuesday. Don't leave it for the last minute. This weekend would be the perfect weekend. It's the last weekend to take advantage of the starter kit special and get that deal on the starter kit. You have nothing to lose, nothing. I, I, there are no strings attached. And I had a couple of Zoom calls yesterday with people explaining everything about it. Just if you have questions, reach out to me. Um, if you're Canadian, I would love to add you to my team. And the reason I say that is because we can only sell or share the starter kit in our own country. So if you are not a demonstrator, I would love, love, love to add you to my team. And, and I am here to answer all your questions and to welcome you to my Ink Sighted Canadians team. That is the name of our team. We have a team name. We're Ink Sighted. <laughs> so I'm Ink Sighted to invite you to join me. Okay, let's get started on this wiper card. I'm super excited about this card design and I'm definitely going to be using this design with other stamps and bundles in my collection because it is just a really fun interactive card and hopefully... I can make it look easy for you and make it easy for you to do. Hello, everybody that's watching and popping on. Say hello when you pop on. I'd love to hear from you. Hi, Vicki from Arizona. Hi, Alexina from snowy Nova Scotia. Are you guys getting snow today? Oh, Paula from the UK is here. Annie's joining us from Waterloo, Indiana. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, Ingrid from Holland. Wow, over in Holland. It's <laughs> so cool. Hello, Krista Smith. Thank you for joining me. Hi, Cindy from Indiana. Hello, Donna from Washington. Another lady, Siska from Holland. Donna from Snowy, Ontario. Wow, there's lots of snow everywhere in Canada. It seems Nova Scotia, we got snow for sure, and it's not going anywhere with these free freezing temperatures. Thus, I should take a picture of the roads, you guys. It's just treacherous road conditions out here. I was telling my dad last night that, or yesterday, that um, the snow conditions, like it just, just the roads are just packed down, right? And even if you put salt on it, it doesn't work in these temperatures. So they, they try and put salt sand mixture. And they also, um, the main highways, they actually put the solution on them before the storm and it resists, I guess. I'm not sure how it actually works. But um, so the main roads are okay, but in the neighborhoods, oh my God, it's a skating rink, like a literally a skating rink. And my hands, I know I'm white knuckled at the wheel because I do not like driving in the winter, but it's par for the course <laughs> when you live in this area of the world. Okay, so I'm home safe, ready to do my card. I'm going to put my coffee down so I don't spill it all over my desk and we're going to get started. Stay safe on the roads out there, you guys, if you are in the Alberta area, Calgary area, or anywhere in North America for that matter, because <laughs> I think we're all getting it, unless you're lucky to live in Florida. <laughs> we're all my Florida friends. Okay, let's get started. We're going to flip the camera down and see what's going on here on my desk. And we're going to, it's called the wiper card we're doing today. Ooh, I love this one. And this will be on my blog later today. So don't worry about writing down the measurements. Just kind of sit back, relax with your hot drink or cold drink, depending on where you are in the world. 
and we're going to make this wiper card and um, hopefully you'll share with me anything that you make. I love it when you guys come back and share with me uh, that you've actually used these ideas in your own crafting. That just warms my heart so much. So thank you everybody that's shared. All right, here we go. Let's flip the camera and get started here. <laughs> oh, Kathleen is joining. And speaking of Florida, Kathleen is joining us from Florida. Thank you so much for being here. <laughs> I see some people from Ohio. Thank you all for being here. Hi, Nancy from Prince George, BC. Good to have you with me. Hi, Mary. Mary uh, Truzik. I don't know if I said that right. I apologize if I didn't. Um, Nova Scotia. Mary's joining us from Nova, no, Dartmouth, Nova Scotia. My sister-in-law and family and brother-in-law uh, live there. I have two sister-in-laws and two brother-in-laws that live there. Dear to my heart, Nova Scotia, my birth province. Hello, hello. <laughs> I could stay here and just chat with you all day. That would be fun, hey? Maybe we'll have to have a chat and craft session. Ooh, that would be fun, huh? Just to do like a Zoom and we can all chat and get to know one another and see what one another is doing. It's so fun to um, to do that. <laughs> June from June is joining us from Ontario. Hi, June. Thank you for being here. All right. Hi, Jen, Jen. Hi, Joy. Joy's on my team. Yay, yay, yay. <laughs> Hi, Donna Larson. Hi, Kathy. Oh my goodness. Everybody's joining us. Hi, Anne Surrett from Nova Scotia. I'm so excited today to share this card with you. Okay, let's flip the camera. <laughs> I'll come back and see your messages a bit later. Okay, so there's my snowy backyard and I'm going to tilt you down here at my work surface. Here we go. This is my host code, you guys. Don't forget, this is the last weekend to take advantage of the celebration items. Celebration ends on Tuesday. Oh, I can't even believe it. I'm so sad about that. I don't want celebration to end because, you know, all those freebies are just amazing, right? But hopefully you'll take advantage of it before it ends on Tuesday. All right, we're going to get started. Do you want to see the card first? Let me show you a sneak peek of what we're making today. All right, here we go. Usually I'll, I'll, I wait till the end, but I can't wait. I'm just so excited about this one. Look at this one. Your nacho average friend. And watch what happens when you open it. Ah! <laughs> the pinata pops up. Oh my gosh. Look how cute this is. I don't have this one glued shut yet, but I'll show you how it glues shut. And you're probably thinking, well, where do you sign it? How do you open it? Well, when I flip it over on the back, we have the little cactus here with the little sombrero on. So this is what we're going to be making today. It's called the wiper card. Okay. So think about your stamps. Think about what you have, what you could purchase. Maybe you want to grab the bundle here and get this free paper. This is on the farm or day at the farm. Uh, what is it called? I'll get it out for you and show you. This is the DSP from the celebration selection and I've been dying to use these vegetables and you're probably thinking well what does broccoli have to do with nachos well I have a lady that I follow on Instagram um, her name is Alana Malenshin and she teaches the program called to be mindset and she has taught me how to make nachos out of broccoli and all kinds of vegetables so if you're a vegetable lover this paper is just stunning and it, and the daffodil delight stripes is on the other side so another card this week now that i'm sharing that showcases both sides of the same piece of designer series paper so you don't have to decide in fact you could flip it you could put that put the vegetables behind here and have the yellow stripes back here lots and lots of options all right let's get started i'm going to bring in my package with all my cut pieces here and we're going to get started before i start i'll show you briefly uh where i got this paper from i got it from the on the farm paper or day i don't know if it's, it's yeah it's called day at the farm but the the coordinating suite is on the farm the one that is in the mini catalog so you have the animals here and i showcased this a while ago you can see how there's dyes in the bundle that goes with this that cut out the pigs the cow flowers all of it you're going to need all of this and this one here oh my gosh the cherry cobbler plaid i used this one with the carrots card where i made the country full heart oh i love that card that's one of my favorite ones from celebration i'll show you all the other patterns this one here with the blue background and then the chicken wire i've got multiple multiple packages of this because 
I love it so much. There we have our pattern with the cows and trees, a smaller pattern. And then the background with the garden green hills. <laughs> love this one. And then we have this one here with the cherry cobbler with the white background. And then we have almost like a linen or a burlap looking um, background. Love it. And then, okay, we've already seen this one. Oh, this one here. This is the most stunning pattern because it has all of it here, right? The entire scene is, you know, from a farm scene. I just love it. And the background of that one has balmy blue with the little white flowers. If you watch my YouTube video showcasing the technique cards that I did for the month of February with my technique club, we actually use this one with the beautifully happy um, free celebration set. So lots and lots of options. This is the one I'm using today with the vegetables. <laughs> and then the back of that one has the Daffodil Delight stripes. Such versatile paper. And the only way to get this paper, you guys, is uh, between now and Tuesday to place this minimum $60 order in Canada. Where in Nova Scotia was I born? I'm just seeing this question. I was born in Halifax. In Halifax. I don't know. I think it was called the infirmary, <laughs> downtown Halifax, down off of Roby Street. I have my heart. My it, it, Halifax is near and dear to my heart because my mom grew up there. So my grandparents were there. So I spent all, all of my summers there as a child. My grandfather was an R RCMP officer and he, when he retired, um, he was still quite young. So I would go and spend all my summers with my grandparents in Halifax and he would take me everywhere, everywhere after he retired and he was in his car. <laughs> we would go on all kinds of outings. And then a little story about my grandfather. I loved him so much and my grandmother too, of course. Um, he would take me everywhere and he actually needed a little part-time job after he retired because he retired young and he would actually he had the coolest job ever as a retirement job he was an rcmp and he retired and he actually got a job in sackville at the sackville downs racetrack and he used to test the urine of the horses to see if they had been drugged so that they could go faster true story yeah <laughs> and he would take me out to the barn and show me the horses and he would let me um, any of the the horseshoes that were left over, they weren't being used anymore. He would give them to me and I would paint them on the driveway on cardboard boxes. He'd flatten them out and I would paint them all different colors. And he had them hanging in his garage, all these little horseshoes that I had painted. So such special, special memories I have of my, my childhood being spending all my summers in Halifax. Anyway, <laughs> the DSP is called Day at the Farm. Yes, Jen, thank you so much for clarifying. And the actual suite that coordinates with it is called um, On the Farm, okay? So you can get that in the mini catalog. And you, you tried to order this paper and it was out. <gasps> oh no, really? I did not know that Day at the Farm was out. Okay, well, I will have to check on that. Thank you for letting me know. Thanks for the heads up. If you've already got it, then great. You can pull it out and make this card. If not, you can also substitute something else, right? Okay, so the first thing we're going to do for our card, let's pull in all the pieces here. So I'll just put these off to the side and I'll bring them in as I need them. So I have garden green, the two biggest pieces you're going to need here. This garden green measures, I'm just going to look at my notes here. Um, four and a quarter by eight and a half, and I've scored it at five and a half and seven. So let's just fold the score lines. We're going to fold the five and a half back this way, and then the seven and a half, or sorry, seven, five and a half and seven goes this way. And then we're going to bring in some designer series paper. Let's let's work on one piece at a time. So I have a piece of design the designer series paper with the vegetables. And we're going to use this and put it on the background here. So this one measures four by five and a quarter. And we're going to just bring in our glue and go ahead and put this down. Let me see. I was giving you a better view of my um, desk, but let me come down a little bit, little bit lower. And hopefully you can hear me okay. I'll speak as loudly and clearly as I can. <laughs> um, let's see. Sorry, I'm trying to just, Lois is watching from the Rocky View Hospital. Oh my goodness. I hope you're okay, Lois. I hope it's just a routine thing and 
Hopefully you can listen to me and um, hope you're doing well. Okay, so we're just gonna go here and put our designer series paper on the background. Okay, so it's gonna fold this way. So I wanna put some designer series paper and some cardstock on this panel over here. So from my little pile here, I have Daffodil Delight and all the measurements will be on the, the PDF measurements and supply list that will be on my blog. And the video is the tutorial, okay? So the instructions on how to put this together are in video format, but if you want the measurements, you can get those on my blog. So I'm just gonna put this DSP onto our Daffodil Delight layer. I love all these fresh colors, the Garden Green, the Daffodil Delight, and there's I see real red and cherry cobbler in this background here as well. And so I've got that on there. Let's flip it over and add our glue to the back. And then we're gonna just put this on this side panel. Make sure it's all lined up good. Okay, so we're done with this piece for now. Let's bring back our other garden green piece. So our other garden green piece is a long piece and it measures um, two and a quarter by eight and a half and I've scored it at one and a half and three inches. Now this piece, we're gonna fold and fold back again like that. So it's actually, sorry, fold down and back like this, okay? So it's like a Z, a small Z. So we're gonna put our panels on here now and I'm using the same pattern paper, only the directions of my lines are gonna be going up and down. So I'm gonna put this big piece here onto my Daffodil Delight strip, like so. Let's move this out, out of the way while I get my layering done here. So this is gonna go right here. And I'm just using basically like 1 16th of an inch as a border around. So that's gonna go on my big panel. Add my glue and we'll put that on here. I can think of all kinds of designer series paper and different bundles that I can use to do another card like this. I have two pieces of Daffodil Delight, two rectangular pieces, and they are um, two by one and three eighths of an inch. And then I have designer series paper to go on top of them, which is one and seven eighths of an inch by one and a quarter. So they're gonna go on top like that. And so, you know, sometimes just a little piece of paper is all, DSP is all you need for that nice pop of color. And I could totally have used the vegetables on this one, but I kind of wanted to bring in all the Daffodil Delight patterns. All right, anybody else got the day at the farm suite with all the animals? Oh my gosh, I used this one on my scrapbook club layouts, you guys, for this year, this month. Oh my God, I love, love, love this paper. It is so stunning. Okay, so let's go ahead and put these down. So this one's gonna go right here. And this one over here, like so. All right, so now let's bring back our other part of the card. This card goes together like this, okay? So if I flatten it like that, this part has to get glued down on this side panel. So I'm gonna lift it up and I'm just gonna kind of just eyeball it. <laughs> eyeball, that's a word, right? That's a verb, right? <laughs> I'm gonna take this and lay it here so that I know a, you know, about how, how high. You can measure this with a pencil if you wanted to. I'm just gonna put my glue right here. Then I'm gonna take this strip and I'm going to line this up with the corner of the card over here like this. And I'll just press that in place make sure it sticks. You could use your tear and tape or um, your tape runner if you're using the stamp and seal, seal plus, whatever you like to use. I love my liquid glue. It's super, super sticky and it doesn't give me grief. <laughs> I don't usually have things fall apart, so I love my liquid glue. Okay, so that's fine for now. So now we're just going to take this piece and we're going to open it up like this. So we're gonna take this, and now I want to make the mechanism for the card. So the if you're just joining me, or you need a little recap, this is what we're making. So this, this is the card like this, closed. But when I open it, the little pinata is gonna pop up. So we're gonna make this little mechanism that goes at the back of this front panel to make the wiper card pop up. It's like wipers on a car uh, windshield. <laughs> okay, so, 
For the mechanism part, it's super easy. Um, it's a one by two and an inch piece of cardstock, this little strip of cardstock. And we're going to take the bottom corner. I'm just gonna see if I'm still here on the counter, on the, on the camera. <laughs> Gosh, words. Sometimes my words are a little bit, you know, like it's hard in the mornings, right? <laughs> okay, so we're going to take the corner. So this is two inches by one inches. I'm going to take this bottom corner. I'm going to fold it up to meet the top. Let me get down on my, my desk here. So I'm just going to fold it up like this to make this little flap. I'm going to bring my bone folder in and I'm going to score this line. Make this nice and crisp. And while I've got my bone folder out, I want to make this crisp as well. This one and the score line. As you guys know, every Friday when I join you with a fun fold, I always talk about my bone folder and how when when you're doing fun folds, you do need to make sure that things are nice and crisp. So what this piece does, this is going to be the piece, this under here, this triangle, this is where we're going to put our glue. And this is going to sit right here on this panel in this little little middle rectangle right here okay so we want to put glue right here and we're going to put it like um let me just turn this around here i want to make sure i'm doing this telling you the right way yes okay so it's going to go like this okay and then the little pop-up piece is gonna go like that. So this is what's gonna make the pop-up mechanism. So we're going to fold this up and lay it down here in this rectangle. And I wanna make sure that I am putting the glue just on this little triangle. So let's do that now. You can put, you can use three glue dots if you wanted to. I'm gonna use my liquid glue and make a little triangle like this. And then we're going to hold it down like so, um, let's see, okay, like this. Okay, so I wanna make sure I'm clear of the top and I wanna make sure that I'm not too close to either the top or this score line. So the top of the, the ridge of the card and also the score line. I wanna make sure I've given my little mechanism room to move, okay? So it's gonna be like this, okay? So now what I want to do is I have a piece of window sheet or I want to share with you where I got these little, this is, we, we sell the window sheets, they're 12 by 12, but you guys see me when I use my stamps that are photopolymer, when they come, they come on this plastic sheet, right? And they have this film on top. Well, I throw the little flimsy film part away and honestly, I'm just reaching in my drawer to show you. I keep these little pieces don't throw them out. They can be window sheets. You can use them, recycle them and cut them and you can use the, that window sheet. It's not called a window sheet, but it's, you know what I mean. If you've, if you purchased our stamp sets, you know what I mean. So I've cut this to be a half an inch by two and a half inches in length. Okay. I don't know if you can see that. It's just a clear piece of acetate, um, window sheet. So what I want to do with that is I'm going to add a glue dot to it. So let's just open up my glue dots and take the end of this, press it down, get a little glue dot on there. There we go. And we're gonna put the glue dot horizontal, okay? So the glue dot is gonna hold this little piece of acetate going this way, okay? So we've got our little triangle there and you see how, you can actually see if I do this, you can see how that's gonna make the little pop-up part for the window, okay? For my little um, shaker, not shaker. This is not a shaker card, wiper card. <laughs> okay, so now what I wanna do is I have a, a cherry cobbler um, scallop circle. And this one is, you wanna make sure that whatever you're putting in this area is not bigger than this width, okay? So this width here, as I mentioned, this garden green is two and a quarter inches. If you want something bigger, you can just make this wider. You can make it two and a half if you wanted, but two and a quarter is gonna work for me. So I'm gonna put my cherry cobbler there, but first I wanna put my little pinata. So I've already gone ahead and stamped the pinata from the Taco Fiesta stamp set, and I've colored it with blends. I use Granny Apple Green, Daffodil Delight, and Poppy Parade to color my pinata. So you've seen me coloring all week, so I thought, 
I'd spare you that and I would just go ahead and do this part because it's I wanted to really focus on how to make this fun fold. Okay, so I'm putting my glue on my pinata and then I'm going to glue this onto my scallop circle here like so. Actually, I'm actually going to no, I'm not putting the pinata on yet. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm going to put my, I want to put the window sheet in between the pinata and the circle. Okay. So I'm going to bring my take your pick tool in, pick up one of my glue dots, and I'm going to put it on the back here. And then I'm going to put my pinata down, put my circle down, and then put my pinata on top. So this is going to be in the middle like this. Let's see. Make sure you don't go off the edge. That's the important part. All right, so there's my pinata, and I made a bit of a mess there. Okay, so there's my pinata. That's going to be the flippy part, okay? So now, when I close my card, this can actually fold down like this, and we're going to put glue only on this part here. This is the only part that you put glue and you anchor it down onto your card base. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're just going to fold all this down and we're going to come in here and line this up with the other corner of the card, fold down straight like that. And you can see that you guys have been watching me. It's not a magic show. <laughs> My pinata is missing. It's gone. It's disappeared, right? But when I pick this up, and I'll hold it aerial view so you can see that pinata is still in there. And then if I hold my finger here and on the front flap and pull, then my pinata pops up like that. There we go. He needed a little bit of a boost there. So that is it, my friends. That is how you make the part that pops up. The rest of this card is decorating, right? So... For my decorating, I thought I would bring in the matching cherry cobbler scallop circle. I have a white circle. This is all from the layering circle dies. So if you're picking your starter kit this week, this weekend, and you need some classic things, so I was talking to a lady yesterday about, you know, things that I could not live without. The layering circles is definitely one of them. I could not live without my layering circles. Um, okay, so we're going to use Memento, and we're going to stamp this stamp that says... You're not your average friend. <laughs> I just love that. We're going to stamp that on my circle right in the center. And then I'm going to use the nachos. There's a couple of different nacho images. There's the three nachos and then there's the big nacho. I'm going to use the three nachos and just stamp at the top up there like that. And then we're going to bring in my Daffodil Delight. I'm just going to add a little bit of color to those nachos and make them look more realistic, more like corn nachos, right? Corn and chips. There we go. And we're gonna glue this down onto my cherry cobbler circle. Very, very minimal glue. I know I had a couple of comments this week about um, seeing the glue come through if you use too much, and that is definitely the case. So you definitely want to use only a tiny, tiny amount of this glue. A very thin line will do, and it will stick. Okay, so we're putting this onto my, my scallop circle. This is gonna sit right here on the front of my card. I'm kind of putting it right in this area where it overlaps. I'm closing the card so that I'm not making it bigger because you wanna make sure it still fits in the envelope. So I'm gonna bring my glue in. I'm gonna put my glue right in this area. And the, then that takes the guessing work out. So if I put the glue on the circle, Guaranteed, I'm going to put it up in this area and then I'm going to, it's going to stick to the back and then I'm going to close my card. If you put it where you want it to sit, you're going to alleviate that problem. All right, so there we go. We're putting our scallop circle on there. Even like that would be enough probably to leave it like that. But I've gone ahead on my silicone mat here and I've got some other fun little images from the Taco Fiesta. I have the taco and then I have this, I know it's a burrito, but I thought we would use it, you know, we're using up, we're trying to show all of the different things, right? So let's bring in um, my sheet of dimensionals and we're going to put this, these down with dimensionals. I don't want to make my card too, too thick, but I think a single dimensional will be fine. I'm going to put one down here 
and I'm going to put one over here. And then I'm going to bring in my, my uh, taco, put it right there. And then this one, I'm going to put right here on this edge. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so you're probably wondering, well, that's great. We've got a, a nice fun fold with a, a moving mechanism, but how do you sign this thing? You're going to want to sign your name to it. Turn it over, and we have a piece of basic white for the back. Now, this measures four by five and a quarter, and I'm going to do a little stamping, and I've got my little sombrero already cut out there, and we're going to stamp our greeting for the, in, for the back. I was going to call it the inside, but technically it's the back. And the greeting I want is this one right here. It says spectacular. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is Erica Serwin's um, million dollar stamp set for her million dollar sales achievement. And I think this one is totally adorable, like spectacular. <laughs> okay, so we're going to stamp that in the middle like that. Then I also have this one, the little cactus. He's so super cute. We're gonna stamp him down here in the corner. And that's it for the black. Let's put the lid on that. And then we're gonna color this one in with granny apple green. So I'm gonna take my dark granny apple green and we're gonna color his arms. And I wanna make sure I'm on my silicone mat so I don't go through. I'm gonna save this um, grid paper. Okay, so there's dark granny apple green. And then we're just gonna use the light granny apple green and come in here and give him a little bit of color on his body. And then we also have, of course, the stamp set has all these different options for the faces. They're all super cute. We're gonna give him a smile. I'm not quite done with memento. Let's bring that back and put a little smile on my cactus here. Just a little cute smiles. <laughs> And then we're gonna put that little sombrero on him. So a little bit of glue right here. And we'll pick up that sombrero, put it on his head. Oh my gosh, so cute. All right, so there's my back of my card so that I can actually write what I want my message on. So let's glue that down. Again, very, very, very small amount of glue. There we go. And bring back the card. We'll put this on the back. And there we go. I think I forgot a couple of things on the front. Let's flip it over and see. Yeah, I know. I forgot to do the little mustache face. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. He's going right on to the taco. So let's, I know I've got it down and it's on dimensional. So hopefully this is going to be okay. I typically do not like to stamp once pieces are put together, but... Let's hold our breath a little bit and there we go. Good. Okay, it worked. <laughs> so there's our little mustache guy and we've got the pinata popping up. I mean, all things Mexican, right? With this paper and the stamps, so stinking cute. And of course, you can bling this up. I have the festive pearls, which are still available, you guys. And I mentioned yesterday up here are supposed to be cherry cobbler. So I have to get a new set. I miss my cherry cobbler ones. Um, but you can use your cherry cobbler blends. Let me bring mine in. And we're going to color a couple of these, three of them actually. I'm going to color the silver ones, cherry cobbler. And we can put those on our card. If you have blends, you can make your own embellishments. Everything can coordinate, right? So let's grab my take your pick tool and we'll pick these up. I mean, you could put gold and silver too if you wanted to totally up to you, but I love having options to be able to customize my embellishments. All right, so then this one, the little glue dot is twisted a little bit. Let's see if I can fix that. Okay, so that one's going to go up here. There we go. All right, so there we have it, you guys. It's called the wiper card. What do you guys think? Do you want to try your hand at this one? It's super easy. All you got to do is just get that little mechanism down, the little triangle, and once you glue it down, you're going to love, love, love making the wiper card. <laughs> I have had so much fun with this one. Thank you, Barbara. Yep, the, the replay will be here. Um, haven't used it yet. Might do playing in the rain for this card. Yeah, totally. The bunny popping out for Easter. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> so many things you could put 
popping up of this card, right? And I'm just trying to catch your comments here. <laughs> yes, yep. Keep the sheets in the photopolymer stamps. Yep, got to sheet, got to keep them. And for shaker cards, yes, 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 absolutely. I save. Glad you save everything, Annie. Yeah, there's a purpose for everything, right? I don't typically save everything, but you know what? Those window sheets are definitely, you know, you only need a little tiny piece and no one's going to see, no one is ever going to know that you recycled that. And, you know, it's, they're nice, strong little pieces of um, acrylic. Um, I think they're called acrylic. Anyway, anyway I'm just going to flip you around here. <laughs> Thank you all for joining me. I was super excited to do the wiper card. I have not done this card before, so I really wanted to showcase this one today with that pinata popping up. I mean, pinatas are so much fun, right? I'm, I remember having them at my kid's birthday party and the kids go crazy for a pinata. So wouldn't a child love to get this card or even an adult, right? When they open it and the pinata pops up. <laughs> so... Thank you so much, everyone, for all your comments, for joining me today, and all your thumbs up and your love. I see it all floating up through the screen. Thank you, everyone, so much. This w video will stay here on my Facebook page, and I'll also upload it to YouTube. So you can go over to YouTube, YouTube um, and just look me up over there, Stamping with Rose, and you can see my videos over there. And um, I hope you guys have a great weekend. I'm going to be busy this weekend getting ready for my retreat next weekend. I am so excited. It's my retreat here in Calgary, and I cannot wait to join the ladies. We are going to be meeting from Friday at noon all the way to Sunday at 6. I cannot wait to spend the weekend with them crafting and stamping and scrapbooking, all the paper crafting stuff. So I'll be sending, I'll be sharing lots of pictures and updates from over there next weekend. But this weekend, it's all about prep and packing. <laughs> Have a great Friday. Have a great weekend. Stay warm if you are in a cold state or province. <laughs> and I will see you again on Monday at 930 Mountain Standard Time. And don't forget to get that starter kit if you live in Canada. Get it this weekend. And also, if you don't want the starter kit, that's fine too. Take advantage of celebration and get all your free stuff while it's still available because obviously things are selling out and they're flying off the shelf. So thank you so much, everyone. Have a great day and I'll see you a little later. Bye-bye.